Welcome to this important international conference. I'm grateful that we have access to technology that allow us to meet virtually during these difficult times. This conference is important because there's nothing virtual about the negative impacts on the health that result from a deficiency of vitamin D. The conference program so competently uh, designed by Dr. Shamshir and Dr. Yasin will touch on many of these uh, problems and provide insights on appropriate preventative actions and treatments. Those serious health problems, for example, obesity, cardiovascular diseases, uh, reproductive, reproductive issues, diabetes, and autoimmune processes have became even more important in this year of COVID-19. When we are weakened by any of them, we are more susceptible to the uh, coronavirus. But another way, deficiencies in vitamin D add fuel to the fire of this global pandemic. We should, therefore, welcome the sun. Your work, like our planet, revolves around that great source of vitamin D, the sun. And because Abu Dhabi is among the world's sunniest uh, cities, we should be ablaze with vitamin D. But our Emirati population, uh, as well as the global population that we host, routinely shades uh, shades itself from the sun, just as we are all now shaded in front of our uh, screens. Abu Dhabi's place in the sun has uh, not eliminated those problems associated with vitamin D deficiency. The very problems on which this conference concentrates, my friends, it is your good fortune that you are addressing the facts about vitamin D deficiency and its clinical implications in collaboration with the superb faculty assembled by the uh, experienced uh, professionals at VPS Healthcare. I congratulate the scientific and organizing committees for their work in making this conference possible. I commend you all and especially welcome the faculty meetings beaming in from abroad. You and the many other participants from beyond the borders of the UAE emphasize the international nature of medical research and medical practices. Your cooperative efforts are essential in maintaining what some call the harmony of the universe. My Ministry of Tolerance and Coexistence applauds your efforts because we too promote that harmony. The medical and healthcare professionals at BPS Healthcare share with the leadership in the United Arab Emirates an ardent sense of social responsibility they are responding to the wise leadership of Her Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and the Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. His wise and visionary leadership is continually strengthening a superb healthcare system that is responsive to the needs of our citizens and residents. The success of government-supported healthcare facilities and of the private healthcare uh, enterprise such as VPS has made Abu Dhabi and the United Arab Emirates a regional center and a hub for healthcare 
innovation, scientific research, and technological applications. Unfortunately, as is so often true, our modern lifestyles inhibit good health. The consequences of a vitamin D deficiency are potentially dire as indicated by your uh, agenda. We must open our eyes and our imaginations to the challenge of eliminating the deficiencies. What policies and practices in government and the private sector might be desirable and effective? How can we encourage behavioral change uh, to uh, reduce the negative consequences? How can uh, diagnosis and treatment be improved to deal more effectively with the deficiency? While I certainly do not know what you might uh, innovate today, I am reassured to know that such a concerned group of experts is assembled to consider the issue. Uh, my best wishes for an excellent conference, and I hope that by this time next year, you may be all be able to meet here in Abu Dhabi in person. God bless you all. Thank you.